Hello, what's up fellow Arwa players? In this video, I'm going to show you on how to do uh, the Tomb of Sorrows dungeon. So this is the first part of the dungeon. As you can see, the knight is luring out all the beetles, all the black capers in the sun. Uh, some player believe that both uh, luring the black capers on the sun um, will make it for the will make it for the golden capers to spawn faster. But actually, we tried some experiments and uh, okay I need to I forgot to pay uh, this is the rule most of the party leaders are asking for payment but there are some party leaders who are not asking for the share for the run especially like Timon from Akatsuki one of the clan master Akatsuki yeah he's he's very kind and generous bro shout out to team also known as Hilomatic also known as Obito uh, I forgot the, uh, the other names of his characters so as you can see the golden caper are now dead you only need to kill one golden caper so that the barrier will open so this is the next part uh, this one is the captured mammoth cage so the efficient way for this uh, part is to destroy the one in the farthest the farthest one because as you can see the mammoth are still running towards the barrier yeah but it doesn't matter as long as you destroy all the three cages so to be safe if you are a dodge type you can just wait there but for a squishy board like me I need to be here and also to save pots I can tank those but I want to save pots and it's safe so always remember to bring enough potions yeah potions uh, the minimum number of potions they need I think is 500 or to be safe bring as much as you can so this is the next part killing the moldy mammoths Yeah. I'll show you my skill routine for Borg uh, I only got like 62 charm so this is the routine so it's like you're doing unlimited skills so first Zuli burst then triple shot power gun shot then sniping shot so let's see you can see the cooldown uh, it happens sometimes that the other skill is ready to be used Unlimited skills Oh, I messed up. But doesn't matter. So this is the third one. This is the last one you need to kill. On this part. It's the cursed Moldy Mammoth. Yeah, uh, by the way, shout out to Rakuzan. He is one of the new players here. Uh, shout out to Ainegi Borg Shout out to AJ also known as Bapping01 
also known as uh, Xborg O2 and I think his main is AJ the Raider from Akatsuki shout out also to his brother Ivan and shout out to Ainegi board to the range and the side so this is the next part where at least three members to be distributed yeah and you will see two flames there in that part and the party leader will pass you the lead so that the whole party will enter and this is my favorite part during the flames You will just uh, redo what the what are the flames, the part as you can see. So the pattern on this part uh, in this run is three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Usually you can do it alone, it's safest to do it alone. But if someone is willing to help, and you can you can do it properly, just do. It. So we are on the 9 minutes run now. This is where usually the second box are being made by the clerics. Yeah, most of the time the box last until the last boss. So you only need to do box two times in the entrance and here. It's like this is the half time of the dungeon. So we are now running for 8 minutes, I think around 8 minutes. This is the most safest uh, part of the dungeon because there are no monsters that are going to hit you. But it's also one of the crucial part because you need to protect Tundra. So you need enough AOA skills. Usually having two burgs make it safe as long as they are active on doing AOE skills uh, right now we got like two soldier class and two burgs so it's very safe as long as uh, there will be no AFK uh, AFK means away from keyboard Uh, also use your single target skills on the mobs that are more tanky see as you can see I'm I'm spamming my single single target skills on multi generals so 
they will die faster yeah if you if you don't have enough AOE uh, always bring spark charms yeah if you can also bring vital gems that's better And don't forget always spam your skill so that the run will be faster annoying sometimes uh, the bullets are not auto refilling This is also one of the most crucial part especially when there are cursed but the curse uh, curse moldy pets uh, moldy mobs are not summoned uh, because we've waited at least one minute uh, before we enter or talk to thunder yeah it's very hassle when there are cursed here those curse hurt so much yeah it's safe to use AOE skills here if there are no there are no curse yeah, I forgot to use mana potions but that's okay that's fine I think the safest build here in dungeon is having at least 700 dodge. See, as you can see, I can I can tank decently, and also having at least 4 point 4,200 around 4,200 HP with box, but having but I pref I recommend that having 4.5k HP so it's safe but the minimum you need I think is around 4200 because uh, you will see you will see you will see later here on boss so one party member should come near here to summon the boss or else the boss will not be spawned as you can observe the cleric are putting bonfires near the ladder it's very useful later when the moldy pairs so the first orb 
appears on 219k or less than 220k so I'm showing you how to do the right obviously you just need to pick pick your cursor on the orbs and the next orb will come at 169k HP as you can see you can see I'm just picking my cursor on the sides because some people here are panicking this move like this just to get the orbs but you need just need to stay somewhere here to get the right uh, to get all the orbs from the right so uh, 120k HP is almost approaching so uh, be mindful not to stock your skills so that you will be easily run from those red circles So you just do the skill routine, they're all good. Avoid uh, avoid coming near these tombs from left and right because that's where the multipliers are going to spawn. You don't want to tank them especially if you are bored or mage which are squishy class. See? You see how the bonfires are useful? it lures the moldy payros this run is actually fast because uh, the cleric has enough charm fast cooldown and luckily curse moldy is not doing his debuffs much so the next orb alright this is the last orb the last orb are being spawned during 2019 and that's all guys so if no one dies from your party you will get like uh, two additional token you will get an additional token at two my bad so I got two when you get outside you will receive one and you will also receive a multi chest with which may contain one of these items so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and support your fellow gamer thank you so much for subscribing liking and co comment down below if you have something or some advices you want to give or tricks thank you guys